to show you how to make Merzamek, Merzamek? Yes, Merzamek. Sorry, Merzamek. Chorba Merzamek? Merzamek Chorbasana. Oh, Merzamek Chorbasi, which is a red lentil soup. So, I'm gonna share this with you guys. <laughs> Purcell's been chopping up some onions. Yeah, and... every day, me. <laughs> I always get him to. <laughs> every day, me, every day. We also have to cut up two, so we cut up two onions and we're doubling this recipe um, because we've got quite a few people in the house to feed. So anyway, so we cut up two onions. Now we gotta cut up two large carrots and you wanna do it into a, like a small dice. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you cut the onions, but I don't want my eyes. Uh, illegal, man. I don't want to have problems with my eyes. Marja make chorbasi. Yeah, purus. Yeah, purus. So, we gotta get these into a fine dice, and then um, we will start the soup. <laughs> you pan your lane and match make sure I just looked it up, I think on Pinterest. Huh? I found the recipe. Easy. I did go to culinary school. I, I know. So, I don't know. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a pastry chef. That was like one of my dreams. <laughs> Which I did uh, sell cakes. For a long, long time, I made cakes and sold them. But I found that it was a lot of work compared to what you get paid. Unless you're doing it on a large scale. So I kind of put that to the side. Do you know Turkish people? Do I know Turkish people? Çok seviyor soğan. Really? Yes. So far, this is one of my favorite soups. And tarhana. Yes! Turkish soups. I love uh, Zuba Toscana soup, which is like an Italian soup. Here. <sighs> That's Tarhana. Yes, it smells good. I made Tarhana. We're having issues with our electric on our stove, so we have to light it. Today, my name. Yeah. We've got our olive oil in the pan. We're gonna add onions, carrots, and saute the, the two of them. This soup is super easy. You wanna, okay, you do it. <laughs> The 
saute the carrots and onions, oops, excuse me, together. Okay, and then we need two cups. We need two cups of lentil, red lentils. And you've got to rinse your lentils and pick through them a little bit to make sure you don't have any like stones or anything in it. Okay, so we're sauteing the carrots and the onion. And then we need to add, yes, we need to add about two tablespoons of tomato paste. We saute that with the onion and tomato, okay. or onion and carrot, sorry. <laughs> yep, that's okay. You have to have tomato paste for a lot of recipes, or Turkish recipes, so we've always got a ton of it on hand. And then you need about two teaspoons of cumin. eyeball like with my hands and kind of goofy like that I guess. So we need one this is cumin. Mm. Some cumin. Italian I use Italian seasoning. You can use like just oregano or thyme. This has a little mixture of you know all of that so I like to just use that. You use a tea, teaspoon of that also. Whoa. You use like a quarter cup of butter and I add a little bit of olive oil. Do you have a lighter? red pepper flakes. This is for the butter drizzle that we're going to put on top and paprika. Probably about two teaspoons. Now we can add the red lentils. So two cups of rinsed, picked over red lentils. And then um, water. Okay, and then we need to add water to that. And it calls for vegetable stock, or you can use, I'm using a chicken because that's what I have on hand. And I really like this better than bouillon. Um, it's like super concentrated uh, chicken stock base. And it tastes really good. And I use it for like chicken soup if I'm making something really quick. I just really love it. And I'm gonna add probably about four tablespoons of this. Mm. 
And then we need it. What is this? Chicken stock. Let me Turkish. Okay. And we need to add water. Here, I'm gonna add water to the pan. And while you're doing melting the butter, make sure you watch it and swirl it around. <laughs> okay, now we just let this um, simmer for a while. And it doesn't take long. That's something else I like about this soup. Um, if you didn't have anything ready for dinner that night and you need something very quick and healthy and warm to keep you warm, you know, get you all warmed up because it's getting cold. This is a really great, easy soup. Um, it only takes like 20 to 30 minutes for the lentils to get um, softened, to soften up. So that's another reason I really like this soup. It's simple and it's fast and it's healthy. Okay, so we just let this simmer. And um, when we come back, I'll show you what we do next. So we finally have the soup done. We just need to use our immersion blender and blend it up so it's Okay, I got it blended up. I'm gonna detach this. All right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna heat back the, oops, heat everything back up, cook the soup for a few more minutes. Okay, so now um, the soup, soup is smooth, the chorba. We'll try a little bit before we serve it to make sure it tastes good. So you'll serve it with, you'll put some in a bowl, of course, and then you'll drizzle this chili paprika sauce over the top. It's super hot. Is it okay? That's okay. Salt? Hmm. Good? Good, good. Okay. Tastes good. <coughs> okay. Here's so. the difference before. Hmm? Tis very good. Tis Anyways, so it turned out good. That's it for this. What is it? Majamek. Majamek chorbasi. Majamek chorbasi. Red lentil soup. Hope you guys enjoy and you love it as much as us. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. So and we'll have more videos out. Thank you. Mm -hmm.